Um, <laughs> this piece of material tonight is about something that most people can identify with. It's about losing things. I hate to lose anything. I don't like to lose anything because where is it? <laughs> See, that's basically the part that bothers me the most. I'm a practical guy. Where is it? I just had it. You know that feeling? It was just here. Where is it? I don't know. It's gone. That's true. It's lost. That's right. Where could it be? Could be anywhere. Not here. No, we know that. Maybe it'll come back. Maybe, but not yet. There are some things I don't even care if I get them back. I just want to know where they went. Now, losing things is something that's even worse when you're a child because people get on you for it. Someone gets on your case. Not only is the item gone, but you're catching heat from up here. You what? I lost my yo-yo. Well, where did you have it last? Hey, if I knew that, I would still have my yo-yo. Well, it must be somewhere right. Well, it just didn't get up and walk away. That one always got to me. It just didn't get up and walk away. One time I lost the cat. It just got up and walked away. And she actually started to say it to me. Well, it just didn't get up and... <clears throat> hey, Ma, I think you figured this one out. Where do things go when they're lost? You know what I think? I think there's a big pile of things somewhere. I think there's a big, constantly changing pile of things that are lost. You lose something, and whoosh, it goes to the pile. Then you say, oh, look, there it is. Right back from the pile. And you didn't even know there was a pile. And where is the pile? In heaven, of course. Has to be in heaven. That's the first thing that happens when you get to heaven. They give you back everything you ever lost. That's the whole idea. That's right. That's the whole meaning of heaven. You get back everything. Here you go, 79 pairs of sunglasses, 212 cigarette lighters, 4,983 ballpoint pens. And here's a jock strap we found on Interstate 90. It appears to have mule hoof prints and chocolate sprinkles on it. Must have been quite an evening. Have you noticed this when you lose something? The longer you look for it, the stranger the places are that you're looking. You look in the strangest places after a while. You have to. You know why? You've already looked in the easy places. Those are the first places we look, the obvious places. That's why people say to each other, I've looked everywhere. Well, apparently not. <laughs> Damn thing is still gone, isn't it? <laughs> Let's keep looking in obvious places. I look in the furnace, you check the cesspool. <laughs> You look in the strangest place. Did you ever look in the freezer for your car keys? Hey, you might as well. They might be in there. You wouldn't want to pass up a nice obvious place like the freezer, would you? Did you ever find yourself looking in a suit you haven't worn in 10 years for something you just had 15 minutes ago? You have to, you know why? Six more pockets, wouldn't want to pass them up, would you? Otherwise, you wouldn't be able to say, I've looked everywhere. And sometimes this will happen when you're looking for things. You ever notice that sometimes when you're looking for something, every now and then you'll come back to where the thing ought to be. Like you'll be out in the garage looking in a tractor glove compartment. And suddenly you'll go back to the top drawer and say, huh? Nope, not back yet. <laughs> you're convinced. That's right. You're convinced that St. Anthony will bring back those keys while you're out in the garage. And then, of course, if you're looking for your car keys, there's one place where you have to look at least six or 700 times, your pocket. Because that's where they ought to be. You'll wear out the cloth in your pocket. Gee, I had them now, I had them. See, usually I put them right in here. No, wait a minute, no, see now, wait, no. Hold on. Well, maybe, maybe they fell upward. Maybe they fell upward and stuck to some bubble gum, you never know. Well, sometimes it isn't a thing that's lost, it's you. 
You're lost. You know the feeling. I'm lost. Where am I? Where am I? What a frightening question to have to ask another human being seriously. Hello there. Pardon me. <laughs> And to be hoping for a constructive answer. Not something like, you're in the land of broken dreams and shattered hopes. <laughs> and you're next on land for the human sacrifice. Thank you very much. I'd rather be lost. <laughs>